COVID or no COVID, Ghana goes to the polls in December to elect a presidential candidate and 275 parliamentarians to set their affairs for the next four years. But what will be the verdict? Many a times, this decision by the kingmakers, that is the electorate, are affected by several factors. These factors solely lie in the hands of those who make the decision. Join me as I make interactions with some of the electorates in the Atebu Amante constituency of the Bono East region to find out from them what decisions will be relevant and key in helping them determine who should be in charge of Ghana and their constituency for the next four years, or what will be the key policy issues they'll be looking at as far as the major political parties are concerned. I think I'll not go for a candidate who will support anything called tribal sentiments or tribal politics. I wouldn't do any of such. And I also look at government from their manifestos having compared the two who will give leverage to businessmen like myself to also thrive and also governments who will give much attention to the youth because the youth has always been sidelined. Most of what we hear from various governments are that the youth are the future, but I don't think the youth has been given much to push forward forth for our country's development. These are what the things I'm going to really look at. And I also look at the previous government's track records as well, because lucky enough, both leaders have got a chance to rule us in one way or the other. So look at comparison of their track records in any of the areas that created the comfort for local Ghanaians, which I believe are going to be our purpose-driven voting strategy. And I'll also be looking at the issue about the constituency at um constituency to be specific. I'm um, having going to look at. And then the first one we have to do with our rules. Because it is these rules that helps our farmers to transport their goods from the farm to the market centers. It is through these rules we, we are able to travel and access so many places. So for our rules there is very, very important. I'm going to look at that place. And the second aspect has to do with Agric, you know, in this our area, our the main stay of the people is agric. So if you are not able to do the agriculture, what happens? If the produce of agricultural things are expensive, can I buy? No. So I will look at agric. Then after agric, I also look at this uh, education. Juma. <laughs> Banya Beba, Oba Boyan Kola, yes, you beat me, a senior Juma, a me yahunu, a fee book on every year, be brave a pon yahoo. Ye never be a yabahan store, ye never be a machine, sir, ye be a Juma. Yes, you beshe, a banya Beba, who beats me a boy, sir, and Kola, who here for my be a yes, you beat me the other day, and your baby at Tana, a dear boy, a bra. Meshe a Greek, Oba Tibu, a hungry farming community. Ye need accessible road network. It it dear perishable goods say or area no. Quite a fast cry dear flu bush about ground beto no. I had din. It is a near cut to a bar. Make sure the obedient agree come can in. Factors that I will consider before giving my vote to any government in this upcoming elections is um, the first thing is or uh, my major concern with these factors, and then the first thing is. Uh, electricity supply or power or energy. Any government will give me constant energy. If I come to work and then there is power outreach, I wouldn't be able to work. I'll sit idle and then um, like I will run at a loss, misuse my energy. But if the energy sector or if the power is always available for me to work, I think um, it will help me a lot as uh, up and growing fashion designer in Atebubu. I need this thing very well before I can uh, cater for my family and then myself as well. Electorates in the Atebubu Amante constituency have spoken and it is clear that certain vital issues in the areas of agriculture, roads, potable water and education will be key in determining who should lead the country and the constituency in the next four years. Reporting for Ghana Web, I am Abu Adjado Frank, Atebubu.